Uh, my name is Lindsay, and now that we are in May, we are almost done with the first half of the year. And if we are being honest with ourselves, the first half of the year in Royal High have been just okay. It hasn't been the most exciting update year, but I do have some high hopes for the second half of the year. I do have hopes for this summer specifically that we are going to get some good updates. And I've also noticed a lot of people in my comment section telling me how they are new to the game. So what I want to do today is talk about some things I feel like all players should complete, rather you are new or rather that you are an older player before this summer. Although I am sure mostly older players have done this. So before we get started, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. And let's go ahead and do prize wave two today. And we got 300 diamonds. We did land on the sword if you're wondering which icon I ended up landing on. I feel like now is a good time to remind you guys to do your daily computer login. You don't want to miss out on these free diamonds. So if you're like me and you're still trying to get the starlight halo from the fountain, you might want to increase the amount of times you do the fountain a day because we are getting a new halo soon and if you don't win the starlight halo from the fountain, you will have to trade for the halo. So right now, is your only time you could get it free. For this story, I am going to pick answer C. Looks like we only got diamonds. We got 680 diamonds, so that is quite a lot of diamonds. So again, we do have a new summer halo coming soon. So if you're somebody who really doesn't like the mermaid halos, but you really want the starlight halo, make sure you just increase the amount of times you do the fountain a day, because the more times you do the fountain, the higher probability you have of winning a halo. Another thing you should do if you haven't done this yet is either do the quest or finish whatever quest you need to complete because I do know some people are still working on the music note quest or the trash quest because those quests are the hardest. And if you didn't know, there are quests on Diamond Beach. The areas where you start the quest is over here at the lifeguard. If you complete this quest right here, you will get the swimming flippers. And if you come over here to the stage, there will be somebody on the piano. This is another quest. And if you complete this quest, you will get the antique messenger statue, one of my all-time favorite items here in Royal High. The third quest is over here at the nursery. You're going to come over here and talk to Ocean Orbs. And if you have not yet done this quest, then Ocean Orbs will be a frog. And this quest will give you the froggy bucket hat. The fourth quest is the Pizza Palace, and you will come over here and talk to Zed. Now, this quest gives you a really good free item. It will give you the oversized summer shirt. The fourth quest is the Lighthouse Quest. This is the longest and hardest quest. This quest will give you a badge as well as a free item. The item you'll get is the heart of the ocean necklace and the badge you will receive is the ocean's heart badge it looks like a ship in a storm there's another free item as well to get this item it will teleport you to a different game but you come over here to this cave right here and it'll take you to the monster cat lost civilization game and doing the quest in this game will give you the bad kitty headphones i did do a video on them recently reminding people of it so if you want to know how you get the item i do recommend checking out that video it may help you these construction tools are so cute i mean look at those adorable hammers i kind of wish they were an actual accessory that you could obtain here in royal high okay so i am very very hopeful that the new school will be coming out this summer and i did do a whole video on everything i feel like we should do to prepare for the new school but real quick, I'm just going to briefly summarize the things I said in that video in this video. So we all know we haven't gotten anything new this year to buy in Royal High. And we have not been diamond farming because of that reason. Because we feel like we're never going to get anything new. But it has been confirmed that there will be a new items in the shop. Now I don't know what new items 
These could be, it could be new sets or it could just be new accessories that aren't part of any set. But since we are getting new items in the new school when it comes out that we will all probably want to buy, we should all try and farm for our diamonds and get as many diamonds as we possibly can get before the new school comes out. Also, there's been a lot of talk about level up rewards coming to Royal High. And I do think we will get level up rewards when the new school comes out. I don't know if they'll be ready right when the new school comes out or if they will be their own separate update. But I do think we are going to be getting level up rewards soon. So I do think we should all be leveling up. I personally am trying to get to level 1000 before the new school comes out. I'm currently at 860. And since we are getting new items when the new school comes out, I feel like it's also important for us to get whatever item that we want either from the shop or through trading for it from the trading hub. Especially since we never know if any items are going to go legacy. Because we do have a lot of older skirts that the developers could decide that they're just going to make them legacy skirts and replace them with newer skirts. So if there's anything from the shop you want, I recommend getting it whether you buy it from the shop or you get it through trading. So those are some things I recommend doing before this summer because you never know what type of updates we are going to possibly get this summer. And I do have some hopes that the second half of the year is going to be really good for updates, especially since we are almost done with the first half and Royal High hasn't been that exciting, but I do think it's going to get exciting soon. So please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that bell notification so you never miss when I post because if an update comes out, I will for sure be one of the first people to let you know. Bye!